so I guess I bought a van. Okay, folks, so, uh, yeah, yeah, bought a van. Kind of a weird thing, I guess, but, uh, you know what? I did it, and, uh, no going back now. <laughs> Had to have a second vehicle, because my Hummer was kind of limping along, and I've really gone way too long without doing, uh, some maintenance stuff. I knew there were some things wrong with it, and I kept telling myself that, you know what, I need a second vehicle. Uh, so, I'm just going to look for something. And I always told myself, if I found a vehicle, there's a dog, walk by. Uh, I always told myself, if I found a van that had uh, two doors, and that's a Jeep, uh, two barn doors, no windows anywhere else, that I would get it. And, well... Wouldn't you know it, something like that just came up. Okay, so what I'm cooking is, uh, well, a blend between lemon chicken from whatever that is. Lemon chicken. New. It's not new. I've been doing this for years. But, uh, lightly battered tempura chicken breast and a tangy sweet and lemon sauce. Anyway, uh, half of this is going to be yeah, on the floor. Half of this is going to be lemon chicken, and uh, the other half is going to be General Tso's chicken. And actually, it's all going to be a mix of everything, because, you know, segregation or something. <laughs> it's all just going to be blended together, and I'm probably just going to end up eating out of the pan, and I don't care. And I'm using it on the little Coleman camp stove here. And I did... Uh, that's one of the bags that the chicken came in. But I did put Bud Light in here to act as a uh, kind of like vegetable oil or something or you know like when you do that so it don't stick I put beer in it that is kind of like a secret ingredient and it works really good so I just squished all the seasoning stuff in there and it looks like yummy whatever and uh, yucky everything else but anyway I've had this before and it is good and everything seems to be sticking I did add some more beer and everything is still sticking. And yeah, by the way, if you're looking back, that is actually a, uh, <laughs> when I was probably 18 or 19 years old, or maybe 16 or 17, I don't know, uh, when I first decided that I would like to use some of my talents to learn how to paint cars and detail cars and all that crap. Anyway, that's... <laughs> Just about the only thing I've ever painted because, well, I suck at it. And it's a Chevy. A Chevy emblem with flames on it. Ironically, I'm in a Ford. I think you can see that. Ford. <laughs> it's a Ford E-150, I think. It's kind of like the F-150 of vans. Uh, it's sort of... It's a half-ton van. Um, yeah, this stuff is kind of... See the pain the rump here. <laughs> plastic fork. I, you know, usually I wouldn't do a plastic fork, and I won't once I decide to take the van out and do stuff with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good stuff. The reason I got the van, it was kind of just like a spur of the moment thing. I lost a wheel bearing in the Hummer. I, I don't know if I told you guys this already, and I'm repeating myself. Just bear with me. I apologize if I am, but. Uh, you know, the wheel bearing crapped out in the Hummer on the way home the other day from work. It was Friday, it was nice, and yay, the weekend's ahead of me. And, uh, well, got, I, I work like 50 miles away from home. So, like, 10 miles away from work, where I still had another 40 miles. Started hearing this growling sound, and it was terrible. So, I thought, ah, uh, well, I could pull over and spend a couple hundred dollars for a tow or whatever because you know real people don't use triple A uh, yeah it, uh, it started doing this barking and growling stuff and I uh, was able to limp it most of the way there and got pretty close to my parents house actually and I ended up calling my dad like hey uh, would you mind coming get me and he's like yeah I'll be there and uh, while he was on the way there, I, I played with uh, the four-wheel drive, 
and locked it in low, and all the lights on the dash went off, all the, uh, like the ABS and the uh, uh, everything else, uh, but ABS and there was something else, uh, traction control, all that stuff went off as soon as I locked it in. I thought, well, you know, maybe that did something weird in there and, and stuff was good, and maybe it wasn't a wheel bearing. And uh, so I uh, decided to just drive it and he followed me and I made it to his place and that it was pretty much as far as that thing would go. Wheel bearing was crap. Uh, is crap. So I pulled the wheel bearing the other day. Unfortunately I'm unable to get the doggone axle out of the hub. For whatever reason. I don't know if it got hot on the drive and seized up in there or something but well, that's still to be determined but the van will be on the road uh, tomorrow actually and uh, be doing this kind of fun because the weather's all finally warming up it's April 21 or 22 or something like that and uh, you know finally it's it's uh, winter has gone away for a little bit oh that's uh, <laughs> that's the good stuff there yeah, so like I said, I was just going to eat out of the pan, and it was good for a little bit. Really good stuff, until I realized I'm missing some tines on my fork. I don't know if I ate that, or if they're still in there somewhere. So, maybe I'm done eating for tonight. Yeah, don't use plastic cutlery when you're, when you're doing this, I guess. Okay, folks, so I spent the afternoon, my only afternoon that I get, <laughs> uh, putting two 100-watt Renogy solar panels up there. And if you look at that right there, that is stupid. <laughs> I didn't have a bolt long enough. So I had to cobble some crap together to get that. So uh, that will be fixed up tomorrow. It's kind of funny, the light's shining more through that one than this one. Not really sure why that is, but they're both the same kind of panels. Two 100 watt Renogy 12 volt panels. And they're bolted down to the ladder rack on top of the van. Have a 30 amp uh, Wanderer, you can see without that cord, uh, charge controller there. It's a PWM charge controller, so it's not the best, but it does work. Uh, put that in today. You can see there's a bolt missing right there because I only have two in it, but it is very stable. And you know, this is all gonna get let me back up. This is all gonna get insulated. I did do a lot of insulation today, but I'm running out of time, and uh, it's gonna get paneled and they're not paneling, but uh, tongue and groove. Uh, I don't even know. It's like wainscot or something, barn siding or whatever. I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to do. I probably won't know until I get to the store and actually start looking through stuff and decide if I like it or not. Uh, I did put... Oh, jeez. I put a little stand in here today. Kind of wanted it over on this wall above the wheel well, but the wheel well is way too wide. And I didn't feel like doing any more carpentry tonight and cutting stuff out. And so it is up against the rear wall. And it is stable because... I put a screw into the sheet metal of the band to hold it, and now I'm getting taxed. I do have a clock, which is pretty cool. It's got temperature and humidity on it, and I put in a, <laughs> a paper towel holder upper thingamajig that's probably been in storage for like, I don't know, 20 years. That thing is old, but it works, and I was kind of happy to, to put it to use. Yeah, the clock has temperature and Fahrenheit on the right, and humidity on the left, and obviously time. Now that's the time tonight, Sunday. The day is fading fast. So I hope you can see back here. Uh, by the way, that's a seven-gallon freshwater uh, holder thingamajig that has nothing in it. <laughs> Got a gallon and a half of water. That's one gallon. There's another gallon somewhere. I use a little Mr. Buddy heater for propane and it works good got some snacky stuff back there emergency toys for my youngin when we go camping coloring book and some crayons and there's a can of beans 
Uh, Mr. Buddy Heater does work pretty good. It heats the van up very quickly. Uh, humidity issues, though. That's, uh, that's a thing. You get a lot of condensation. And that really sucks. That may be because the van is not insulated yet. Or, uh, water is a byproduct from propane anyway. But, you know, it does its thing. Uh, right here is a, it's called a luggable loo. It's a little toilet seat that goes on a bucket. And I can't open it one-handed, but uh, there's trash bags and toilet paper. And they're ready to go in case you have those need-to-go moments. Uh, this little Rubbermaid tub right here in the corner. This is where my batteries are. And if you see, everything is kind of crapped up on the lid. I don't know, everything just kind of fell apart on me, so i got to get a new one of these. A new uh, Rubbermaid tub. But I have my two batteries down in there. They are Deep Cycle Marine batteries, and yes, that works just as well as the expensive uh, like golf cart batteries or some dumb stuff like that. Uh, these guys were actually on sale, and I think they were 70 bucks each. Uh, plus a core charge, I didn't have batteries to turn in, so it's probably like 80 bucks each. Uh, very, very good deal, and they work awesome. They're brand new, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's really, really great. Really happy with them. So, under the cot, I've just got this guy laying here, because again, I ran out of time. It's a 1,000 watts modified sine wave inverter. Not my best choice, but it does great for charging devices and, uh, you know, just running lights or, or whatever. Works good for that. I do have plans of putting a television in here, and I will have to have a, uh, a pure sine wave inverter. This guy works great. Uh, it's on right now. You can see there's a light. It's on. Uh, it's doing its job and and kind of asking for more. The voltage is holding high. We're at 12.8 and I've been running it a good bit. Actually, right now I have a, a lamp turned on uh, that's sitting on the table here. And so is my adult beverage. That is uh, an absolute necessity for doing stuff like this. Uh, the lamp's cool. It, it's neat, but it is very top heavy <laughs> so of course when I go into travel mode I'll have to do something about that uh, yeah that nothing is insulated up top nothing anywhere except for just a little bit on the side uh, oh I can show you this uh, where the batteries hook up down here that little cord runs up through the chase in the wall let me get around uh, in the in the sheet metal all the way down behind everything all the way through here to where the charge controller is and like I said it's it's very very stable it's uh, it's definitely not coming off there now of course there will be softeners put in here so this these wires don't rub uh, but again the wall is being built out and insulated more and uh, whatever kind of siding I decide to put in here. Uh, I don't know, maybe this weekend or something. That'll be the thing to do on my half day that I get to myself. Uh, I got my little Coleman cook stove in here. He's bungee strapped down. He ain't going nowhere. Have more butane thingamajigs somewhere. I have no idea where they're at, but that's a full one. And then I think I've got like a half one somewhere in here. Uh, well, I do know that I have a half, half tank somewhere in here. Uh, it's Everything's pretty stable. It's not going to rattle and bang around while I'm driving. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the, the update for this weekend. The panels took a long time to put up. Had to find washers and bolts and nuts and all that good stuff. But did get it up there and was happy with how it, how it went in. And it's working good, so I don't really know how it's going to act when I start driving. Uh, the ladder rack itself kind of vibrates and hums, and maybe the panels will stop that, or maybe it'll add more to it, and it may actually put more stress on the panels, so we'll see. Got a whole week of work ahead, so i got to do that stuff.
Anyway, folks, uh, I know my videos have been spaced out a lot. I apologize for that. And I do have a lot of comments that I haven't got back to yet. Again, I also apologize for that. Uh, it will happen. And just when I get time to breathe. Okay, folks. Well, hope everybody has a good week, and thanks for watching. I'm going to bed. Bye-bye.